hey thanks for coming to my channel so i actually had a different video planned for today but i'm getting pretty behind on the whole editing aspect of it and then we got our kiwico tinker crate and i thought it would be interesting to give you an honest non-sponsored review and unboxing of what is actually in here and a lot of the reviews i found were sponsored which i mean hey they're a great company i would take a sponsorship too i totally get it but i thought you know since they're not sponsoring me i might as well give you an unsponsored opinion so first of all kiwico is a subscription box company for kids they have different boxes ranging from birth to they say 104. A lot of them are geared towards either sort of your artsy craftsy kind of stuff or your more engineering type of projects. I believe they've also now included some cooking boxes, which I think is pretty fun. I have not tried them. My son gets the Tinker Crate, which is their more engineering geared crate for the nine to 14 year old group, I believe it is. These are a approximately $20 a month although it does depend because you can buy a monthly subscription a subscription for every three months six months or 12 months I believe and the longer commitment that you make the less each crate is gonna cost it does say that there are some from 17 and up I don't know if that's just with the longer membership or if the different age groups are priced that much differently again this is the one that i have experience with there is an option to include a book the book is approximately ten dollars a month i believe it's 9.95 i have added the book to our subscription i have a three month subscription and i really quickly just want to point out that it does auto renew so i know that's something that maybe you are already totally aware of but for me sometimes i miss that fact and once our three months were up my son said he loved it and he wanted to continue so i went online to renew our membership and saw that it auto renews just something to keep in mind in case you do the same as i do get three months thinking you're just going to try it out if for some reason you don't want to keep renewing it, that is something you have to go in and cancel. That's just a full disclosure thing because I know that sometimes this time I missed that. But again, I'm completely happy with it auto renewing because I was going to renew it anyways. As far as the books go, I gathered a few of them. There's a very wide range of what you could get as far as books. The first one we got in our initial Tinker Crate was Physics, Why Matter Matters. And it's just a really cute way of looking at different concepts in physics. We also got the book of Perfectly Perilous Math. They're math word problems, but they're worded very interestingly. And they're a little bit, mm, they require a few more steps or a little more critical thinking than your average like curriculum word problem. So they were really fun for us to do together. The one that I remember, I believe is the first one. Yeah, the pit and the pendulum. <laughs> they, they definitely caught his attention and made some summer math a lot more fun. Another one we got was one of these with the red magnifying glass you know that's supposed to expose some of the hidden pictures i don't know if you can see that on camera at all but i'm sure you've seen these kinds of books before the one was a graphic novel about robots and drones he went off and read that on his own and was you know totally engrossed in it how to be a genius your brain and how to train it kind of cool information brain games just things that are fun last month we got 100 scientists who made history which we haven't actually had a chance to look through much but i'm really excited to they're all so different well it brought the price that we pay for our three month subscription up to almost a hundred dollars for every three months it's 98 something i think that they're a great addition to our home library not even just our homeschool library but our home library because they're just so full of different ways of presenting different information. I have his box here. He told me that I was more than welcome to unbox this with you. It's not a huge surprise because it already says on here what the project is. And in fact, I get an email ahead of time showing me what the project that's coming this month is. So I know I don't always check because I know he's going to enjoy it either way. 
So this looks like the book that it came this time called Recycled Science. Bring out your science genius with soda bottles, potato chip bags, and more unexpected stuff. It's got some pretty cool science projects that we can do together. Ooh. I've been wanting to do something like this. Anyways, before I get carried away with the book, the next thing is the instructions. Now these instructions are written in a way that he can do this project entirely by himself. They're laid out really well. I helped him with the first one and since then he's just been on his own. There's also a tinker zine that comes in it. Full of little interesting kind of magazine style articles that relate to the project. Then in here is, I'm not gonna take too much out, but I'll just show you what's in this one. This is, as it said, a wooden automaton, so there's lots of wooden pieces. It looks like this. I'll show you up close a little bit better, but generally it has all of the pieces that are needed for the project. The only time that he has needed anything that was not included was one of the projects needed a soup can to hold the back to stand it up. Other than that, he has never needed anything outside of the box to complete the project. Any tools, any pieces, anything that he needs is all right in here. My overall impression is that I actually love these. When we first got it, the first couple of months, he did not touch them and he let them pile up. It wasn't until one day he just needed something to do that I reminded him he had these projects. And since then, he's been really excited to work on them every time that they arrive. I really do feel like they're worth it. They're not cheap. If I didn't include the books, it would be definitely less expensive. But I love being able to add something pretty unique to our bookshelf. And I love the way he's able to do these projects completely on his own while would I like to help him? Yeah, they look fun. But I love that they give him that sense of accomplishment and success and that I did it myself without any help kind of feeling each and every month. That is this month's Tinker Crate and of course books from lots of previous months. We've also made things like a walking robot and an LED crystal that he can turn the switches to change the colors. He's made a lot of really different cool projects and it's just inspiring to see him really enjoying getting into something that is I find a good use of his time. That's my overall thoughts and analysis of at least the Tinker Crate line from KiwiCo. I am looking forward to maybe trying the Panda Crate for baby in a couple of months and seeing what that has in store. If you're looking forward to maybe what the Panda Crate has in store, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss that. And give this video a like if you liked it. it helps me in the algorithm and I really seriously appreciate it. I will see you in the next one. Thanks for coming along on this journey with me.